Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, there's been a lot of debate on whether you should vacuum seal your ammo for long-term storage or not. One thing that I do, I do vacuum seal my ammo. Um, that way, if anything happens, the primers and gunpowder are going to stay good. What I do is I'll demonstrate here with this 350 Legend I got. I will put my ammo in, stagger them every other up and down that way they kind of sit in the bag a little bit easier now I pre-cut all these bags already just for ease of use and quickness of the video so I will do this stagger them left and right, up and down that way everything seats nicely stays in the bag vacuum seals very tightly okay get them all lined up got three extras here so I'll just put these on top and then what I do is I take the part of the box put it in here with it that way I know what what grain it is what brand it is and then I will stick it in the vacuum sealer gets all the air out nice and tight and then when I store it I store it in 50 cal in, or 50 cal ammo cans that way everything stays vacuum sealed and then sealed with 50 cal cans I also after it's sealed I write on the bag 350 legend full metal jacket so I put FMJ there's 20 rounds, so I'll write down 20 rounds. And then I always date the day that I vacuum seal it. There, you can see everything's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. I did this. I do this also with my 5.56. Five, I do this with my 9mm. I do it with my 22. I do it with everything. That way I know everything's nice and sealed up. And here I have one of my 50 cal cans. Uh, I'll use for an example. I will vacuum seal everything up, throw a desk packet or two in here, and I have everything nice and sealed up, the date that I have them sealed. Uh, I've got, this is a mixed batch, so I have my nine millimeter. So this one I have is my nine millimeter jacketed hollow points. That way I have my hollow point in there as well. I know what I'm grabbing. I've got some 5.56 in here as well that I that I put in there. And like I said, I'll throw a desk packet or two in there and then seal it up. Now this is a mixed can, so what I also do, man, this one's heavy. I write on here how many rounds I have of each and the date in case I take some out, if I go to the range, I go out hunting, um, I know how many rounds of what caliber are in this can. Uh, most of my cans I have, I've got designated for 556, 223, 300 blackout, 22, whatever it is. Um, this just happened to be a, an extra can that I had some more ammo and I just ran out of room in my other cans. So that's what I do. You guys, can do what you want there's a lot of people out there saying that you should vacuum seal it you shouldn't vacuum seal it i do because that way i know if anything happens i can grab the ammo can that i need for the caliber that i need and i know everything's going to be good it's going to be dry and it's going to be ready to go it'll last for a long time all right thanks for watching guys have a good day